first lady, Brigitte Macron, was actually born Jean Michel. So Bridget is actually John Michael. John Michael lived as a man for 30 years and then transitioned at the age of 30 to become Brigitte. Candace Owens is a man. This is absolutely shocking. I've been up for three days investigating, researching, and mildly hallucinating so I can jump to fact-based conclusions. I don't even wear glasses. That's how huge this is. This is the biggest political scandal in human history, and I am staking my entire professional reputation on the fact that this is true. Candace Owens was born a man, and I'll prove it to you. Now, I'm gonna take you through forensical photographic evidence using convincingly red bold arrows that will show you the major flaws in her cover story of being a woman to prove to you that she's a man. Are you okay? Why do you keep your computer in a Monopoly box? Because it's the last place anybody would ever look. It's more secure that way. This doesn't even have power. It's even more secure. The man bulge. In classic fashion, we start with a man bulge that any lady man tries to hide, yet does not successfully hide 100% of the time. Stop right there. And right there you see a bulge in her pants that can only be explained by assuming it's a penis. Then, then, then zoom over to this guy, notice his eyes. You can clearly see he's looking at something that surprises him and you can clearly see this is what he's surprised about. Lack of childhood photos of Candace being a child. Have you ever thought, why don't I see more pictures of Candace Owens when she was a little girl? How come she's presently only posting present day photos of herself? Answer, you don't see photos of her as a little girl because she never was a little girl. Except for her occasional pathetic attempts to hold up her veil of deception like this one she posted on her Facebook page, which is clearly not even her. She claims she is that little girl, but I looked into it. This girl on the right is who Candace claims to be, and this man on the left is an alleged family member. Then I thought, well, that sounds suspicious. So I did some advanced musculoskeletal resizing imaging techniques using open source AI, and here's what I found. This female on the right is two, maybe three feet tall at the most. Interesting. And the man on the left is estimated to be between five and six feet tall. Then I thought, well, something just feels off about this. So I Googled, how tall is Candace Owens? And here's what came back. Five feet, seven inches tall, falling within the exact estimated height range of the man on the left. That's twice as tall as the girl on the right. Candace is that man because Candace is a man. When you convert the photo into life-size ratios, there's no way she's the same size as that girl. Like who's freaking dumb enough to believe that's her? What's Candace do, just morph her body size at will? When you look into it, this alone proves Candace was born a man. And for that matter, any journalist who doesn't report on this is singling themselves out as being part of the system. Sometimes puzzle pieces don't fit together, but if you smash those pieces together hard enough, then eventually they kind of do fit together, don't they? Oh, it, 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 have you ever seen a, a picture of Candace Owens on the internet being pregnant? Uh-uh. You might be saying, well, what about this one? No, 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 you can Photoshop that. She was never pregnant because men can't get pregnant because she's a man. YouTube proof she's a man. Why didn't Candace Owens post any videos to YouTube before she started her YouTube channel six years ago? Answer, because she wasn't a she, she was a he. It wasn't until after the one we call Candace transitioned to being a woman that she started posting videos to YouTube. If you search all of YouTube like I have, you won't find a single video of Candace being a man because Candace doesn't want you to know she's a man. That's why she only started posting after she became a woman. Damn, dude, I'm feeling good. Do you want to start a business with me? Man face. Geographical evidence that she has a man face, because she's a man. Oh, now get this, this will blow you away. When you look at Candace's cheek and zoom in and look at just a small section of her cheek, and then compare it to this cheek, what do you see? Well, looks pretty similar, right? Well, that's a man cheek. This is just anatomical evidence that she has a man face, because she's a man. Secret photo of Candace being a little boy. Now, why aren't there any pictures on the internet of Candace being a little boy? Probably because she scrubbed them all from the internet, right? And she certainly tried, but I found one. In my research, I went on to a new state-of-the-art search engine called Gemini AI, and I typed in, show me a picture of Candace Owens as a little boy. Here's what came back. She ain't a little girl. And it turns out she ain't black. 
Guess that means she probably didn't vote for Biden when she was a kid either. She hides behind a desk. Now consider this, when Candace is doing her show, why is she always hiding her lower body behind a desk? Let's just say if she had elephantitis of her testicles, wouldn't she wanna hide it? Her motive. Now, before getting to the last piece of proof, you gotta understand Candace's motive. Why would Candace, as a man, transition and masquerade as a woman? Well, as we've seen throughout all of human history, women are not very good at almost anything. But the last few years, we've seen many men playing the role of women excel well past real women in sports, awards, status, intelligence, business. So Candace is simply trying to up-level what it is to be a woman for the sake of gender equality. Is this a joke? You think gender equality is a joke? Very admirable, but she's going about it very deceptively. She got fired from the Daily Wire for being a man. Candace was recently fired from the Daily Wire. Don't you think that's a little odd? Because here's a company that has a lot of phobia about men being women, and they claim to not know what a woman is. But I think they actually know. Which means they did know that Candace wasn't one because they found out she's a man. So they fired her. But... Why else does anybody get fired? With all this evidence, I am glad I've staked my entire reputation on this claim, because game, set, match, Candace Owens is a man. Explains everything. Classic PSYOP. I looked into it. I don't know about you, but one thing I love is infrared saunas. But three things I hate about infrared saunas is they can be expensive, they take up a lot of space in your house, and you can't carry them. That's why I love my Bond Charge infrared sauna blanket. It's one of the most cost-effective, powerful, yet portable infrared sauna systems on the market, and it doesn't clutter up my house. Bond Charge is my favorite holistic wellness brand with many evidence-based products to help you optimize your life in every way. And the infrared sauna blanket is one of my favorites. Personally, I work hard, I work out hard, I live like an idiot half the time, and at times life is just hard, so I need all the recovery I can get. Before I was using the infrared sauna blanket, I was finding I was becoming more and more sluggish, my energy progressively getting lower. I could tell I needed to recover from all that life was throwing at me and all that I was diving into. But that all changed for me once I got my body into this bad boy and started using it regularly. There's plenty of research that shows using infrared saunas helps you recover from exercise, sleep better, de-stress, promotes relaxation, and it's great for detox. If you want to upgrade your life with an infrared sauna blanket, just go to bondcharge.com JP. And while you're there, use the discount code JP for 15% off the sauna blanket and all Bond Charge products. Enjoy.